This is the last episode of the Breaking Bread podcast. Yeah. In this studio. Uh, oh, I do apologise. How rude of me. Put yourselves in this situation. Josh and Beard, you're walking through the, the, uh, <laughs> the rainforest. He gets his tackle bit by a snake. Would you suck the poison out <laughs> of his tackle? Uh, his penis. <laughs> <laughs> this is this is just the Science. worst part. This is the, this is what we ended this studio on. Hi, I'm Adam, and I'm Josh, and welcome back to the podcast with less structure than an undercooked blamange. It's the Breaking Beer Podcast. How are you doing, mate? What's a blamange? Uh, that's no, that, that's that... so weird that you just said that because someone said that for the first time to me yesterday, and I didn't know what it was either. You've never heard the word blamange blanc before. Yeah. Blamange is a French word. Uh, <laughs> uh, it's just a f-ing wobbly dessert, isn't it? You know, like, <laughs> he said, you said it's easy. Like, I, we're allowed it in the first 30 seconds because it's easy for you to beep out. It's the ones you've got to find in the middle that are hard. Yeah. In answer to your question, I am uh, I'm happy and sad. This is the last episode of the Breaking Bread podcast. Yeah. In this studio. Breaking oh. Bread, I still <laughs> went wrong. Though. I was about to get the party <laughs> pop. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, mate. Last one in the studio. How are you? You're looking a little, a little bit tired this morning. Is the oh, coffee thanks, not man. I appreciate that. Thank you very much. Uh, no, yeah, I'm fine. I'm cool, <laughs> man. I'm, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm all right. And, you know, actually, I was, uh, I was filming yesterday, and I, I stopped at Starbucks uh, on the way down to where I was uh, filming. And I walked in. The woman went. I said, "Can I get? I got my normal, you know." I said, "Can I get a grande black americano, please?" And she looked at me. She went, "Do you want another shot?" <laughs> 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 Do I like a need? <laughs> she said, "Well, <laughs> I was like, go on then. If you, if, if that's what you're prescribing, Oof. I'll have another shot." Adam on an extra shot on an empty stomach. That's a jittery man, is that? I've yeah. seen it first hand. Yeah, I get, yeah, I get, I get a little neurotic when I have too much coffee. <laughs> but um, uh, no, I'm, all right. I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm underslept as usual, but uh, I'm all right. I'll sleep when I'm dead. <laughs> How that. are you? <laughs> You've asked me twice, he's wrong. <laughs> go on to the comments quick. <laughs> it's time for you. I'll come give you a cuddle in a bit, mate. That's funny, that. <laughs> How awkward is that when you do that? You, pub, you know, like people you don't know. Oh, when someone says, oh, happy birthday, and you go, oh, yeah, you too. Yeah. Oh, How are you doing, mate? I yeah, I'm all right. How are you? Yeah, how are you? You're like, oh, my God, we're in this, like, circle. Of- <laughs> I did that in Germany, you know, when we went in, the guy was like, enjoy your workout. I was like, yeah, you too. <laughs> the guy's working on reception. <laughs> he probably was working out later in the day. Yeah, he looked, he looked pretty jacked. Anyway, what the... Comments. Right. <laughs> First one from Steph Bain. Adam would be shit in an apocalypse. Can't shout and he would dislocate his shoulder with a machete. Why can't shout? I what? don't know. <laughs> what? That's you, the weirdest. Think, out of think, all the comments, I think that might be the weirdest. I've I think this is, heard. this is an old, like, it's a new comment and an old video. So it's, do you remember the one where you said you're on a golf course or something? <laughs> you're in a fight. In a fight. I remember the dislocated oh, yeah, shoulder. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. This is like, I Chocolate probably shoulder. pop it out now if I want <laughs> But yeah. the shout thing. I what's this, this? I, I mean, like, what? <laughs> but I don't like. What's that got to do with an apocalypse? Why did you pick that one, George? I don't know. It's I almost thought like you just picked some. Shoulders it's almost it. like you didn't do any prep. Woke up this morning, filled yeah. by a newest, and like just picked them out. Right. Anyway, uh, what's the next right. one? If you can uh, send in your CVs for podcast producer <laughs> <laughs> from from Gwobble Store one eight nine. This is on the end of an era podcast. Oh. They put, I genuinely don't give a flying. <laughs> 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 oh, good. No, that, well, that's what you're supposed to. You're supposed to not. That's, sp- pretty, that's pretty tame for the comments on that video. Let's give that guy a gold star. <laughs> Any more? Or from, a girl? It could be a girl. I from Lost Northerner, the Patreon section often demonstrates to me how little I understand men. I mean, mm. it's a little bit. I get. I get that. It's, so I'm assuming that's a woman. It's, it's unfiltered. I so. Yeah, feelings mutual, but uh, not about men, obviously, because I am a man, but. Uh, <laughs> Of the, of, the, <laughs> of the other sex, yeah. yeah. Not in a sexist way. I mean, I think it's just, it's natural that uh, t- two different, I, I don't know what I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> Shut the f*** up, Adam. It is well, like, a, it is chaos in the Patreon, on the Patreon section, to be fair. Yeah, they pay, though. Like, they pay, so yeah, like yeah, they're entitled they, deserve, they deserve the chaos of uh, unfiltered nonsense. Uh, George said the other day, every time we do a Patreon section, we manage to run for like 30 minutes. He's like, how the how do we get to 30 minutes? Because it is unbelievable, really. Yeah, but there's like, I think it's because like, there's additional swear words, like every another swear word per yeah. sentence, so it extends the runtime, you know, because you're allowed to swear there. It's probably that. And last comment from Cody.g. Uh, it was breaking bread. I thought I was going mad by calling it that. And someone replied saying, I imagine some Christian organization already owned breaking bread, so we had to change it. <laughs> 
<laughs> when we first started, there were another podcast called, I mean, there's quite a few podcasts called Breaking Bread, but there was one like in Birmingham with 300 people listening to They got to mad, it. didn't they? Yeah, they sent me a DM like, why have you picked that name? Like, that's our name. And I'm like, nah, mate, like, it's fair game at this point. It's whoever gets big, <laughs> biggest, the fastest, that's who's going to be. We should have fought for clicks. it, like, like a Royal Rumble style thing. <laughs> How many of them were there? I think there were two. Oh, right. Well, just two on two, man. Two like, on two. Uh, you know, it was like when you used to play Street Fighter and then when they did the later Street Fighters, you could have like tag teams like with two or you'd like tag somebody in. We could do it. We could do it like Fancy that. Fancy Street Fighter. Is that, is that your mood of the week? Uh, no, I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm a man of peace, but uh, if you're going to whinge about stealing your name, then yeah, maybe. I don't know. Speaking of or peace. like a corned beef sandwich at stake. I'll fight over that. Speaking of peace and uh, chances of demonetization. Sorry, George. <laughs> Last night, I looked on Twitter and the top three trending was WW like one 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 World War Three World War Three trended, so I screenshotted it, sent it in chat, went to bed. That's what's trended on Twitter. <laughs> didn't, at the think, didn't think you were gonna wake up. Yeah, I thought let's get <laughs> this. the nukes are gonna fly. <laughs> I don't. I think Leeds will be alright. They'd probably be like, eh, you know. What do you reckon to getting targeted? Like assuming, oh well, depending on like who, how many nukes they have. I've thought this because it's like London. They're gonna have a few, right? So like, surely the UK, you could just knock, knock that off a map, just fire a few in there, six. <laughs> Nah, that wouldn't boom, totally boom, like. Boom, boom, boom. I, what, what city is it, are they going for? London, naturally. Birmingham. Yeah. Manchester. Yeah, Manchester. But you might as well do Leeds. You might just stick it in Pennines and Ma- just Manchester, see what happens. Nah, because like, it'd be cool because, like, yeah, I suppose they could kind of like, depending yeah. on the kilotonnage tonnage yep. um, or mega tonnage. Um, if they put it somewhere like approximately around Huddersfield, <laughs> you could probably get a bit of both. Like drop it on Ellen or whatever. It'd make Huddersfield a better place, to be fair. <laughs> I, I don't know. Like, Huddersfield gets a bad rap. But it's as it should. What else do you reckon? Like uh, Liverpool? It's a bit coastal. Nah, I kind Liverpool, of feel like a waste Liverpool's of a nuke. cool, man. Like, I think they'll be all right. No, I'm thinking they're going for the biggest cities, aren't they? Yeah, sure. but I, I don't think... They're not going to do Liverpool. What they, they, Edinburgh? Edinburgh. They've got to do Edinburgh, yeah. Yeah, but nobody's asked about Scotland. Come on, man. Yeah, but the, Scot- the, the jocks will be I pissed. mean, I like Scott. I'm just saying, like, I think that they're not, like, involved. In- they don't like it. So if They don't like us anyway. They might it? be on the other side anyway. Uh, <laughs> but World War Three's not happened yet, right? Not yet. But maybe by the time we've released this, we are pretty good at um, preempting bad news, as we found out first hand when we talk about stuff and release it a week later. So, oh, yeah, when we talked about Kate Middleton being, yeah. like, a little thin, and then uh, yeah. it turned out she had cancer, which, of course, is very sad, but then, like... A bunch of people they got, gave some grief for it. Yeah, as if we recorded it like that day. That it was we, would have, we would, we would, I think we would have had to literally record it that day and release it to be that. Yeah, we're not know, that efficient. No, we're not that efficient. So if World War Three is going on while you listen to this, hopefully have a few laughs before. Look and cover <laughs> before the mushroom cloud comes in. <laughs> You'd, I'd want to be like Ground Zero, man. I wouldn't want to like start melting. You know what I mean? Like I want to be like just vaporized. Instantly. I watched a YouTube video on like what you should do. You know, like if you can survive it. Yeah. You, apparently. I think you fill your bath with water, so you've got a water supply. Because right. also that'll be like tarnished with like nuclear no, I get substance. It, yeah, that's, to- that's a good you idea. You can't go outside because the nuclear um, like fall fallout will be on the roof. Yeah. So you need that to settle. Yeah. I think ultimately, if we've learned anything it's from the radiation, Chernobyl, it's going to start melting. Yeah, we're f- yeah. Oh, sorry, George. But at this point, it's middle of World War Three. People are listening. <laughs> <up>. like, <laughs> we've been called up. You're young, you're young lad. You're I'm, I'm getting away with that. I'm not, certainly not first draft. I'm not first wave. Man. <laughs> Imagine like when if they get like if they pick him man like George gets drafted but like I don't what are you done for aren't we? You know what I mean? George on the front line at least he could dodge the bullets he's that thin. Yeah. <laughs> I would be useless in war to be fair. You'd be like Desmond, maybe you'd be like Desmond Dawes. I mean I'd be equally useless but I don't know like I think I don't know I might look I look more formidable I think. Oh no I'm getting a phone call. Oh uh, do you know oh, the it's rule? Not. It's the it's the it's the wife. You got to answer. She don't want to be on the. No it's good. you got to answer that's right, the rule man. <laughs> Danielle you're on the podcast. Do not swear. It's the rule. If, you, if somebody rings when I'm on the podcast, I've got to answer. Daddy. Oh, no. <laughs> Hi, Tilly. Hi. Hey. Yeah. Hi. And I'm, I'm, sad, I'm sad that mummy's going, Daddy. Yeah, what, going out tonight? Yeah. She's allowed to play out. I, I've got to look after you. <laughs> we'll have fun, stay up late. In the morning, I'm making waffles. We'll watch Shrek. Don't think she's yeah. straight over read that one. That's terrible. <laughs> <laughs> that does sound awful to be what, fair. What do you want to do? Do you want Uncle Adam to come over? Yeah. <laughs> yeah? yeah? <laughs> but I might be uh, priling, the uh, 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 <laughs> might have engagements to it, but uh, <laughs> if I need to, like, I mean, I'd, I'd probably be more fun than your dad. <laughs> 
Yeah. All right. <laughs> well, uh, we're going to get back to recording a podcast, so shall we see you later? Yeah. All right. Love you. Bye. <laughs> bye. Bye, Tilly. Bye. Bye, Adam. <laughs> bye. She's so cute. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Made a first podcast appearance at three years old. <laughs> Yeah, what are we saying? I don't know. That's for a rice pan, isn't it? Isn't <laughs> it? Gonna, World gonna... War Three. World War. Th- what a <laughs> complete jump that was. Um, yeah. So the last podcast of the uh, in the studio, we've we've put it in your very incapable hands, haven't we? I said, oh, yeah, yeah, pull yeah, your yeah. weight on at least one of them. Do the yeah. do the final podcast. Well, you got your notes as well. Look at this. Got efficient. some notes here. Uh, slip the <laughs> off and uh, let let uh, <laughs> let a professional deal with this. Uh, did you hear that the the world's oldest man died? No. Yeah, yeah, just shy of his 115th birthday. Two months shy of his 115th. <laughs> you know, uh, that's quite funny about that. Adam don't even want to make it to 50. And this guy's got to well, 150. Actually, one of the talking points is like, somebody says to you right now, you're going at 70 or you're going at 115, which you're taking. Seven, I think... 70. Yeah, I'm taking 70. I don't know, man. I think... Obviously. I don't they say that most people that are born now are going to make it to 100 anyway, so... I'll take nah, it. Nah, nah, life expectancy is still like 80s, man. Um, anyways. Just, just they, fact they, check. They, I don't think. Fact check it, George. Come on. It's like 82 or something for, uh, for <clears> men <throat> and like 84 for women, I think. Uh, anyway, the guy's called Juan Vicente Perez, or he was when he was alive, <laughs> and uh, he attributed his longevity to working hard, resting on holiday, going to bed early, and drinking a strong glass of liquor a day. So you're probably a shoe in there to get to 115 because you you go you work pretty hard. Yeah, uh, you rest when you're on holiday, yep. or even like when we're just filming and you're supposed to be working. <laughs> and uh, you uh, you go to bed early. Don't know about the liquor part, but uh, I, you can, could, I can add that to my diet. Yeah, yeah, just a, a, the like mead a little, that you buy me. A <laughs> little bit of rum, yeah. Well, that's not really strong, though, is it? Maybe like a little a little whiskey or like a shot of vodka before you go to bed, and you probably make it to 115 yeah. um, or 100. And, uh, he was actually 114. He, he, it was two months before. His I feel like that was a little birthday. bit vague as as far as like what what he did to survive so long. Because I imagine what if he were like a massive seshed back in the day, like racking well, lines and popping pills. You the, know, the, the, the real, uh, popping pills. Um, I don't. Maybe he was, but I think uh, the uh, uh, the l- biggest uh, contributing factor to longevity is uh, genetics. A eh? and uh, they say like uh, stress is an underlooked. Um, factor in it you know in, because in reducing life expectancy yeah, yeah so if you re- like so like uh my 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 granddad for it no my grandma let's take for example right she's a terrible diet she's always been overweight never exercised but she's uh she's like never worried about like anything she spends all half of the time laughing making jo- inappropriate jokes about sex and she's made it to like 86 or something now nice so uh she's cool my dad on the other hand was always stressed and uh croaked to like 62 or something so like maybe there's something in it very true, yeah. Where, whereabouts is he from in the world? Because I think that's a factor as well, isn't it? I watched uh, one of them Netflix programs where, like, if you eat, you know, purple potatoes from, you know, Papua New Guinea, you're going to live till... I'm a, I think it was, like, somewhere in South America, I want to say. Yeah. I didn't, you know what I mean. Like, yeah, you didn't. Like, you want that in there for it. This <laughs> George, is five minutes of breath. What's the deal, man? What about living to 100? Is that, like, people born now are going to live to 100? No, the average life expectancy is between 79 and 82 just, can you Google, are people going to live to 100? I'm, I'm sure, like, can we need to, come what on. What does that, well, some people will, yeah. What's yeah, no, but like, I'm sure that, like, most as kids of, now. As of 2021, the average sort of deaths were between 79 and 82. No, I'm saying ki- kids born now, when you're, are they going to die? You're really doubling down on a point, which is basically, it doesn't really matter, does well, it? we need to know now. The, the audience, like, sat at the end of the seat, you know, edge of the seat. It's cool, just cool, yeah. Wrapped around a tree, you mean? <laughs> oh, Yeah. <laughs> Elevate music. Do, 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 George Ferris is typing to find out the, uh, the answers to this. Uh, he's, he's saying people that are born, like, say, now will live to 100. Yeah, that's why. That seems like a, no, a ludicrous jump in life expectancy. 80 will be the new 60. I, I, I'm not really buying that. Does that work, I then? Don't, I don't know. So it's just some random If you website. say so, somebody's deadlifting downstairs, okay, you hear that? <laughs> somebody's <laughs> making the gains. Well, anyway, yeah. moving on to the next anymore. point. Shut the f*** up, George. Um, <laughs> do you know that you can get some free goats? Do you like goats? How do you feel about goats? I don't care about goats, to be honest, mate. You don't get used mad now that Tom's shit. <laughs> um, free, uh, free, you can get free goats. If you want to, I, I want to say goat, of course, I mean the, the animal. Um, there's a, a, the tiny Sicilian island of Alicudi uh, has become overpopulated by goats. They've got some randy goat, you know, like uh, like horny goat weed. Oh, yeah, I guess yeah. That's where they, they get it from. But some randy goats have just been like shagging like Catholic rabbits. And um, <laughs> what they've done is they've uh, they've procreated to the degree that there are more goats, I think, than people on this island now. Um, and uh, they're uh, apparently, this is quotation marks, 
they are storming people's homes and eating all their crops. I don't know how a goat storms a home, probably charges it or something. Yeah. But, um, they, uh, yeah, so they're giving them away. If you want, uh, you have to contact the uh, the government of Sicily to get your free goat. I don't know how they get them to you. Will but they send it to the UK? I don't, I just, you're sounding like those people that are messaging you on the Facebook marketplace. <laughs> <laughs> you probably have to collect them. But uh, yeah, they, they are giving away free goats, yeah, which reminds me, actually, I went on a field trip when I was at, they call it field A field trip? trip? Yeah, the school trip. School trip, yeah. yeah. Um, when I was a, a kid, like, uh, somewhere shit, like the, the Yorkshire Dales or something. And um, they're going to have to do a talk at the beginning, you know, where you're all sat on the bus and the whatever the head teacher whatever was he's like now kids if anyone comes up and offers you something however good it is you have to turn it down it turned out like the previous year a farmer like had, had too many sheep so he was giving sheep away for like 50p a sheep so <laughs> naturally kids were like a sheep for 50p to, and like taking sheep home on the on the bus like uh, so. i do that now I'm like what a, sh- a sheep a, a tenner let's go i mean like think about it, even if you're just gonna eat it yeah that's what i think about the goats man if you just start like order a few goats stick them in the, the, uh, the freezer yeah, but anyways, if you want your free goat, uh, have you what? contact contact Sicily? Uh, have you eaten goat? I feel like uh, that's something yeah, you might yeah. have eaten. Curried goat, man. Yeah, that's yeah. big in Jamaica, isn't it? Uh, of course, Curried yeah. goat, I like a bit of goat's cheese, nice uh, higher in protein than regular cheese. cheese but it's pretty keen. Honking. What's um, the meat sort of similar to in taste? Would you say? Uh, it's like a. Uh, I think I would probably describe it as like a like a lamb, wiry type of lamb. Yeah, <laughs> it's got a bit of a leaner lamb, maybe. <laughs> That's up. Some culinary experts will correct me in the comments there, I'm certain. Um, but it tastes like it's uh, yeah, pretty wiry, lean meat to me. You know, I've, I've known it, I only had it in curry, I think. I think so I've seen it on like... um not taste it much. You know, like Carl Pilkington's Idiot Abroad, where they eat like the skull of a... He might be a sheep or a goat. You know, like the eyes and the cheek. I've had like peak, <laughs> peak cheek. That's not a thing. Pig cheek. That's quite nice. Apparently, Apparently, it's got is it right you can it. eat every part of a pig except its tail? Google that, George. I suppose you could eat everything if you try hard enough. <laughs> yeah. You know I mean? everything's, that's, a di- that's... everything's a dildo if you're brave enough. <laughs> <laughs> so, I, you know, instantly I saw that like little kind of spark in his eye and I knew it. I, I knew it. Uh, what was, what was going Go- Go- Just Go- about the pig, pigtails can be smoked, fried or roasted in barbecue so you can sauce. Eat, you can eat every part of a pig. You can eat the trotters, man. Yeah, apparently. Oh, uh, and pigs will eat anything. Yeah. yeah. So if you kill anybody, put a body in they like a pig's that about, They say that about goats, so don't they? I do that. They'll eat anything, yeah. yeah. Anyways. The, uh, the only part of a pig you can't eat is the squeal, or at least that's what nose-to-tail advocates believe. The squeal? That's, got, the that's squeal like a is. fucking... That's like sending an apprentice for a long stand or some tartan paint. Like a pig squeals, doesn't it? <laughs> that's got to be. That's got to be some, some bullshit. That's got to be a joke, mate. Anyway, uh, am I allowed It's like to... saying you, can, you can't eat the bark of a the dog. Squeal? It, the Squeal, it squeals. That was a really bad squeal. You do one. Like in Deliverance. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> this podcast is shit. Yeah, man. straight into the tree. <laughs> is that, is that, like, we're 120 episodes in, George has just realised it's shit. <laughs> anyway, it, it's because he came late to the party, didn't he? He's only done for You know, last. like metal screams and stuff like that. Oh, yeah. yeah the pig yeah, squeal yeah. ones. Yeah. Well, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, on the topic of ungulates. Uh, Dartmoor, what we're going to do now is an April Fool's Day roundup. Because okay. uh, April Fool's Day just passed. I'll ask you about your own experiences in a second. But we're going to do a little roundup of uh, some of the uh, best uh, April. I feel like no one did any this year. Like I didn't, you know, when sort of people post stuff and yeah. you're like, oh yeah, yeah, April Fool's. I feel like no one could be bothered this year. No one I know posted anything. Well, uh, <laughs> I've got a few here, so... Um, <laughs> uh, <laughs> Dartmoor Search and Rescue uh, announced that anyone getting into difficulty over the bank holiday weekend would be aided uh, with sheep wearing high visibility bandanas and bells. So, uh, str- uh, struggling, that's not a word, uh, struggling hikers could hear them coming. Uh, which I thought just sounded a bit reckless because if people actually believe that, they'd be, you know what I mean? Like, yeah, was, maybe they'd be thinking, oh, there, I won't call somebody. You're top of, top of a tour, you broke your leg, you, you go onto the search and rescue page and. <laughs> that's what I was going to save you. Like, what? That, what's a uh, what's a sheep gonna do? You know what I mean? Like, take what? you back home. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck! How have we not been sponsored? How have we not been like signed uh, up for some sort of like award? You know, that like... is that was really quite good. Yeah, that's, <laughs> uh, that's good. That's the highlight. It's only gonna go down from there. So if you want to tune out now, uh, I'm not gonna stop you. Um, yeah, so that that uh, that happened. Um, Purple Bricks launched uh, launched. Uh, you're going to like this one, man. They launched an estate agent bullshit detector app. <laughs> uh, 
Uh, the app promised to alert you of uh, any lies from a state agent using AI technology to detect suspicious speech patterns. Given our experience with the state agent, I feel like it just would be one continuous like error tone. It'd just be like, <laughs> they're just horrible humans. Well, I'm steady. There might be some listening to the podcast. Sorry, if you enjoy the podcast, we like you. But you might have done some underhand t- tactics, you know, throughout your career. But that's yeah. quite, it's quite funny. I've, I saw some skits on uh, of like estate agents, you know, sleazy estate agents. Yeah. I'm going to try to dig them out. I'll, I'll try to find them for your charge. But they, just to sort of like make make light of how sleazy they are, there's, they're like, this is the nicest house on the street. I promise so this pans out. And it's like, nice houses. This one's like half broken down. Yeah, anyway. I, I suppose that's part of their job, isn't it? Something like a salesman of any kind is supposed to make something more appealing than it actually is. But anyways, yeah. far be it from me to defend them. Swiss police announced their newest weapon in their war on drugs. Sniffer chickens. Uh, <laughs> the new flock of Drogenspuren, uh, or drug-detecting chickens, uh, joined the squad after a successful testing phase. <laughs> Uh, apparently the, the logic was they're cheaper to train uh, and uh, the chickens also lo- lay a daily egg <laughs> contributing to their cost effectiveness so they, w- they, they went to some lengths to, uh, to, to I think they did too much there they try to make it look too believable with all the, 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 the added stuff there sniffer chicken sniffer like, chicken off, yeah. off its head on coke just <laughs> oh, and the you, you, you eggs are lined with coke then you get drugs tested. Have you got like, it's like a, a bad... <laughs> have you been watching like Narcos or something? You, like, you, there's like a bit of a kind of classy theme to this one. <laughs> Aldi, I know, like I was quite excited by this one. Thought I might get invited on it. Aldi announced a, a new dating show called Love Isle and... Like, supermarket yeah, Isle. Yeah. Uh, promising to find contestants love on the aisles. Um, but... Uh, that's, that, that is, you know, like if you're saying you need to go on TV, that, that's what you should be hosting. I've never been Aldi. Come on now. Like if it was like, <laughs> like Waitrose, Martin's <laughs> That's a joke, poking fun at somebody last week who said I was like, uh, they said I was some man of the people. Uh, I knew this guy because I've got like a uh, a car slightly more expensive than average. Um, l- this is the final one. London chain, chain, London chain. This is what happens if you don't sleep. London chain gym box launched a workout class for you and your dog called Gym Box. Uh, with more Londoners looking for new ways to treat their pets, it made perfect sense to not only let the dogs visit Gym Box. But create their very own fitness class that they can do with their uh, their owner, uh, which include the exercises include fence jumps, fur peas, because <laughs> you know, like burpees, and uh, leash pulls, which sounds like a c- cruel and unusual punishment to me. Um, <laughs> leash pulls, um, but uh, to be honest, that, that, that doesn't even sound that unbelievable to me. I'm sure there are like workout classes for people that want to work out with their dog for some stupid reason. Yeah, I, I watched uh, Gino, uh, Fred, and that other fella. Doing, uh, you know, when they do the tours in the in the like bands, yeah. I think they were in San Francisco and they did yoga with goats. Oh, right. So the goat <laughs> yoga, I've heard yeah, of before, like yeah. jump, goats jumping on the back. So that's definitely a real thing. They do yeah. puppy yoga and stuff like that, but yeah. that's just like puppies running around and licking your face yeah. and stuff while you're trying pissing to do all yoga. Of, pissing all over mats and yeah, yeah. 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 Uh, you know, it's funny. Like Adam's the most anti animal person ever, but it, when he's in character on video, he tries to he tries to. Be, a, be the, the dog lover at the end of the steak video <laughs> that was going to come out there's a dog in the restaurant you remember with that fella he had that little fluffy oh, white yeah, dog yeah, yeah, yeah. and you're like see you later mate and tried to go fist bump the dog <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> people are like this guy's a weirdo <laughs> yeah, I, yeah I don't like animals but like I, people get quite uh, heated about it don't they so either animal yeah. lovers and I don't, I don't hate I'm, I just, I'm just not <laughs> and, as, and as well, one of the challenges, there were a cat watching you in the window and you went, that's pudding there. Yeah, that's dessert. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I hate cats. I'm not, even <laughs> I'm not ashamed to say that at all, man. We interrupt this program to bring you a special report. Sorry to interrupt this episode. I want to take a few seconds just to tell you about our Patreon. If you can support us on Patreon, we have got early access to every episode like this one and future guest episodes that are coming up. We've got some big names in the pipeline. You get exclusive behind the scenes clips from like when Adam's traveling around the world or we're just chatting shit in the studio. Each episode, we record a Patreon only section, which which is a little bit less PG than the actual full episodes. You guys can interact with us and help us steer this sinking ship and tell us what you want to hear on this podcast. You can get all this for less than the price of a pint and it saves us from having to flog some ball shavers. So if you can, support us on Patreon. Back to the episode. This is not an April Fool, but it kind of sounds like it should be because Mike Tyson is launching ear-shaped edibles. 
Um, <laughs> the bizarre products are a nod to when Tyson famously bit off a part of Evander Holyfield's oh ear. Gosh. That was back in 1997. Jesus, can I actually remember that? Yeah. Which tells you how old I am. Uh, the edibles have been released by, my, <laughs> by Tyson 2.0. A cannabis company founded by the iconic boxer. Uh, they come in flavors including black eye berry, sour apple punch, and uh, just watermelon. <laughs> <laughs> they, they didn't really try with the name in the last flavor there. Uh, the edibles are available from the company's online store. This is not a sponsored video, uh, but have already been spotted in dispensaries in, uh, in, in New York. That's pretty interesting. I mean, like he's cashing in that block. I, I, I think he's one of those people that have like, he's made all the money, lost all the money, made some money again, again, lost it all. And now he's probably like at the point where he's like, I still need to make a bit more money. You reckon? Yeah. I mean, when you're in his heyday, he had like mansions and cars, he had a tiger. How do people, how do, <laughs> he did have a tiger. <laughs> how do people spend so much money that like when they've got that much money, <clears throat> do they, is there no part of them that, I know they kind of defer that to an accountant or whatever. Yeah, like that's a, what it is, a, yeah. A financial manager or whatever. But like, you don't keep an eye on it. Like, there's no way I could spend more money than I have. You know what I mean? Like, but no you're not. Like, you're not like. Even he, if he, was the he was the heavyweight champion of the world. Yeah, like, but, he'd living in like the celebrity lifestyle, buying cars. Yeah, so don't man. But yeah, no. But like, th that's not. If you if you're like a fighter, the mental mate. So at I that know, point, they're well, just like, like Danny's not. I mean, he is a bit mental. <laughs> but like, uh, he's. Like, the dude was immensa for Christ's sake. So they know what they're doing. Like I don't understand. That's yeah, that's an exception. That way, yeah, but that's a base level of like. Look at McGregor, and he's like on a different planet now. You know, buying yachts and yeah, but like I'm, I'm assuming he can afford it. It was just in that terrible movie. Yeah, but my point is, is like he's the again, he's a bit of an exception. Like Mike Tyson, that's career starts to teeter off, buys too many lions and tigers. They're expensive. Look at Joe Exotic. You know what I mean? He's like, I'm sure. What's the going rate for a tiger? Google that, George. There's more, there's more tigers. Hey, George, don't be like Simon because you've got an easy day. I've been, I've, I've been gathering this through this. The most random. There's Google more tigers. Ever. This is a true fact. More tigers in captivity in Texas than there are in, like the free in the wild. I, nah, come on, I don't believe that. Google that, George. And also, how they like I don't know, Google in the first thing. <laughs> <laughs> Seven, Seven and a half thousand dollars for a tiger. That's a tiger. bargain. That's it. Well, I mean. <laughs> It's like less than gram. I thought it would be, but like, I suppose it depends on the type of tiger as Think well. Think of how much you have to feed it as well. That's going to be worth Yeah, I'm not going to buy one, mate. I'm just saying, like, I thought it would be more. <laughs> right. Uh, what was the second tiger, one? Uh, the ti there's more tigers in captivity in Texas than there are in the whole, like, running free in the wild in the world. <laughs> that can't be true. I don't buy it, man. <laughs> no. <laughs> there are more tigers living in captivity in Texas than th the 3,000 that are thought to be living in the wild. Sad, sad fact. There's only 3,000. That's does not that, a lot. Does that make them an endangered species, surely? They must be getting pretty close, yeah. They need some uh, <laughs> some, of, some of them, the dick pills that I never take. That's what they need. <laughs> um, Sponsored by Viagra. The uh, the final one uh, that I, I uh, oh, collated here. Sorry. Just before you move on. Yes. Did you see the April Fool's thing where KSI announced a fight with George Foreman? <laughs> no. Uh, no, but I imagine Taking the piss of out of the Mike Tyson Jake Paul thing. I bet the most entertaining part about that was the amount of people that believed it was real. Have you yeah. seen the Mike yeah. Tyson uh, rules? You know, the Mike Tyson rules uh, so against Jake Paul. Mike Tyson. I'll please say it allows ear biting. That'd be funny. <laughs> Put that in as an asterisk. Rules. So it sort of is an exhibition fight from what I uh, from what I read. Really? What with Jake Paul? I thought it was gonna be like some properly like official. Yeah, everyone was like, oh yeah, it's gonna be a real fight. It's not. Basically, it's two minute rounds, I think, um, and there's going to be no winner unless somebody gets knocked out. So there's, it's going to that's that's basically the rule. Man, so it's an just exhibition. F off, man. These things need to just go away. Um, <laughs> do you know in a, a place called Sunday, uh, which is in Orkney, an island in Orkney, in Orkney, on Orkney, I don't f know. Um, the, Stop swearing. The uh, the owner um, of a shop there accidentally made uh, uh, an ex excessive. Uh, order of Easter eggs. Uh, he, he meant to buy uh, 80 Easter eggs because he thought that's what he was going to sell. Um, uh, he accidentally ordered 80 cases, giving him 700, 720 eggs, which is 220 more than the population of the island at 500 people. The, the story has a happy ending, though, because uh, that was reported and people laughed at him. Um, and then because of that, it got traction and people started going in and buying them. And somebody even ordered one from Swindon, apparently. <laughs> Don't ask me why, they could have just gone to a shop and bought one. But, you know, this was nice, and uh, he gave 100 away and managed to sell all the rest. So all's well that ends well. If only we knew a, a big eater that could have taken a case 
Man, chocolates are really hard to eat. And plus, I'm getting old now, man. It's hard, hard for me. It'd be hard for me to finish like two or three eggs, I reckon, now. <laughs> the most fun part about eggs is still, I was doing it like the other day, and like my, uh, my my nephew has not yet discovered the joy of smashing an Easter egg on your forehead. So I was saying like, come on, man, that's the best part. And he didn't do it, so I got to smash a few in my head. A mate of mine did it, and he cut his head up. And, <laughs> yeah. What was it made of? Chocolate. He had it in the freezer or something. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, his missus still put it in the freezer before that. <laughs> My uh, my mum my made quite a nice uh, little. Like, I thought it was gonna be terrible, but like she made quite a nice uh, banoffee pie thing. Oh, I told you that last Gone week. Off, yeah, because you thought, yeah, so shut up. <laughs> that, <laughs> George, you must have done some prep. Are we doing something like a, a whatever bre- breaking fact hunt or whatever? The Do f- we want to play the big fact hunt? Yeah, I'm ready for my uh, my uh, trivial pursuit. How long have we going, John? Level question. Half an hour. Half of thirty minutes. Thirty minutes. I might see what happens when I host the show. Yeah, it's because you had <laughs> all killing all filler. Yeah, you got an extra shot in that coffee. You were like, pow, pow, pow. I should have got one more. I think. World well, well, War Three started. <laughs> Couldn't joke about that, should be. Why, man? I think it's when it's if it happens, man. I had that it, same man. attitude, but now I've got child. Not, not, not got the same vibe. All right, who wants to go first? Him this week. I feel like it's you every week. Apparently, I want to go first. <laughs> no, I went first last week, no? He did, yeah. Oh. Uh, so, Adam, who, yes. who was the ancient Greek god of the sun? Ooh. Apollo. Is that your final answer? Yeah, it's just the Roman Greek thing. Uh, <laughs> yes. <laughs> Mother. Actually, Helios. Yeah, helium. Bummer. All right. What's what's uh, Josh is going to be? What uh, what do you get if you? <laughs> what color is the cricket like, ball? What what color, <laughs> what color was Tinky Winky in the Teletubbies? Yeah. Josh, what game studio makes the Red Dead Redemption series? <laughs> what? Rockstar. You're a. F- <laughs> <laughs> I've got to be that's it, isn't it? Right, I've got. I must be like three or four. Like, I don't know. Know. right, Danny, Danny, if you're out there, you, you are Adam, one away from the forfeit now. It's, well, I mean, I'm no, I'm just I'm, the forfeit is mine. Like, um, I'm, <laughs> I'm just, I need to get into some kind of prep. Anything you could do is to tips to give me to prevent me from breaking bones and just relax. Just Accept relax. It. Just like like being in a prison shower. Just yeah, yeah. I think you need cool. to give him a ring, Josh, and get this sorted now. Get this arranged. Not right now. Right. Well, it was ring Danny. You could ring Danny right now. He might be busy. I, I mean, I might still call it back. I doubt it because George has sent the questions. But like, <laughs> let's, let's tell him. Let's see what he... he's a nice guy. Though. I think he'd go gentle on you. He'd be a gentle prison. I'd be like one of those. He was uh... gentle with Paul, wasn't he? Was you know what you was... yeah. Bonjour. Morning, mate. You're, you're uh, on the podcast. <laughs> uh, sorry to call you out of the blue. <laughs> <laughs> we're, uh, we're, uh, we're uh, we've been doing the uh, big fact hunt, and uh, Adam is currently one. Uh, one away from um, his forfeit, which we've decided is uh, what is it? Ten minute, a ten minute round with Danny Mitchell. Yeah, something like that. Wasn't it two minutes to start with? That's ten minutes. Danny, what do you think's fair? Well, none of it's fair, is it? He's a professional <laughs> former UFC fighter. You tit. <laughs> <laughs> what do I think's fair in terms of time? Yeah, uh, I don't know. It's got to be three minutes at minimum, on it. Yeah. I thought he was going to say maximum, but okay. Uh, yeah, three minutes sounds no more than five minutes. Come on, man. Have you got any advice? Because we're gonna we're gonna do three minutes striking, three minutes grappling. <laughs> striking. <laughs> <laughs> he, he's like <laughs> three feet taller than me, man. Has he got a motorbike crush helmet? <laughs> <laughs> Danny, you better be prepared. I'm going for the Jorge Masvidal technique. I'm just gonna <laughs> r- run at you, try and fly in the. Uh, if that doesn't work, that's it. I'm just gonna c- concede that I'm gonna die. <laughs> Yeah, to be fair, you could pencil me and that could be the start of your celebrity <laughs> MMA career. I, I don't think I could I, I actually do that, but I could probably pay you to take a dive. Uh, <laughs> so oh that's what I'm thinking now. <laughs> I mean, that, that's possible, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah, so that, that's the plan, Danny. We're going to. Uh, it looks like Adam's on well on his way to uh, having some uh, time on the mats with you. And luckily, you know, you've got yourself a new knee now, so you're like in f- fighting fit. Which one's yeah, like target? Like bra- I'm like brand new, yeah. <laughs> uh, but yeah, cheers, mate. And uh, oh, we, we've got invited on that um, MMA on point show. Um, but I've, oh, I've, yeah. I've, with the, the message back saying that we can go on it, but I've I've put the caveat in that you've got to come with us just for a bit of credibility. Yeah. <laughs> Sound. All right, mate. Have a good one. No worries. See you Boys. in a bit. Ta-da. <laughs>
You definitely caught him in the middle of either a wank or a <laughs> Just walk up. What's this f***ing idiot ringing me for? <laughs> yeah, so um, Danny Mitchell, six minutes. That's all right. Would you do grappling first or striking? Are you hot? What, do you, what part do you think someone is... I thought someone you were joking there. I thought, what part do you think someone going to strike him? The no, dude's just, arms are about as long as his table. Just do body shots. Do body shots? Yeah, just... Pow. I don't, get, I don't some, know. get some headgear on. Protect oh, some head gear. I'm just going to get in there and be like... I'm just going to... Have your way with me. <laughs> I'm going to just try and maybe spear him or like something. I know I shouldn't really be trying to get him on the ground, but like equally, I'm not going to try and punch him because the dude's got like much greater reach than me i mean we've got like a week or two to try and teach you something if you if you, you do want to there's no point in me being taught anything josh because then i'm gonna think that I've, i'm capable of trying something on him <laughs> i'm gonna go in say... like I'm from karate kid. <laughs> <laughs> like, come on. i would just say a three minute round just grappling no strikes kicks nothing like that yeah just do that and see how many times you can get him see how many times he so can get you <laughs> what i can get him? yeah 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 Bloody, he's you not won't. getting him you will right. right what what we need to decide to decide is like for you to get a moral victory it's like we need to pick a number of how many times you think you're going to get tapped and then not be, not exceed that. You know, it's like how how many times do you think he'll tap you? In Don't three do that minutes. because I'm, you know, how stubborn I am, so I'll end up like breaking one of my bones because I'll just be like, I'm not tapping. <laughs> and if he's got me from behind, like choking me, I'll just be like, right, I'm going to sleep. You know what I mean? How many times do you think he'd tap you? <laughs> I don't, what, in three minutes? Three minutes, yeah. Oh, man, I suppose it depends how long I can run for. Is it, we're going to be in an octagon. You're going to be on a mat. We could put you in an octagon. Yeah, because well, then I'm just going to run around, try and get away from him. If the yeah. idea is to last. Get, yeah. You're not. You, yeah, do you think that's going to work? No, but I can still extend it. So, like, if I if I immediately <laughs> right, go okay, and meet yeah. him, yeah, yeah, that's going to. But if I like run yeah, away yeah. for like ten seconds and I get ten, so you've got ten more. seconds. All right. So, in two minutes fifty seconds, how many times do you think he'll tap you? This is like a sweepstake. You need to write this down, George. You need to remember this. Let's see who gets the closest for the footage. Yeah. Um, in an octagon, I think it'd be fewer times because, like, I, maybe because I think I could like rest against the. If he's trying to take me down, I could. Try, I won't defend it well, but <laughs> I think I could try and defend it at least. But like the the cat weighs like twenty kilos more than me. Like this would be more fair if it was somebody of my size at least, because then well, you like, to get somebody of your size and like Danny can like. Well, no, because Danny won't hurt me. Like somebody of my so size might be like, oh, that's like from the internet. <laughs> 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 I'm gonna do him in. That's why I never want to play five of size. I think like if I go ever yeah. went down, somebody just want to cripple me. Um, not that I blame them, but um, yeah, I don't know. Let's just do it with Danny and like I, I don't know how many times I get tapped. What do you think would be good? Let's see what I can aim for. I'm, what what I'm for you is go good? for a guess at. At least 20. In three minutes? Yeah. Come on, I can't be getting... I mean, like, at le- I'm going to be able to resist at least, surely, a little bit. I think... Well, that might be the problem. <laughs> yeah. Surprised. yeah, I think if anything less than 10, it'd be impressive. Yeah. Right. That's, so that's what I think. Right. Because I think what's going to happen is the first minute, it'll be like, he'll play with you a bit. You yeah. know, like a lion with like, like a... Nice bonus. Yeah, he'll play with you a bit. And then then he can start just sort of like... He can do whatever he wants at that point. He'll just... As soon as he's got older, that's you might dis- we might discover a new kink of mine. <laughs> yeah. Stop tying me around. <laughs> You're beating me up. I'm Sit excited. on me, Danny. Danny, what are you Sit doing Saturday me. night? <laughs> Choke me, Danny. <laughs> he gets DMs like that all the time, you know, from people mm-hmm. like, yeah, yeah, do you want to come, will you come and punch me head in for, a, for, for some money? And will you send me pictures of your feet? Nice. Nobody, nobody tells me to do that. The feet thing, obviously, nobody wants to Have been any more strange on. DMs? No, although to be fair, I've not really been checking. I was thinking about last, just for for banter last week, I was thinking about going on Tinder, just see what happened. There's something to talk about. Yeah, sure, should. yeah. Just go on there and the bio, I don't, do you get like a little bio yeah. that people see? And the bio would just be, yes, it's me. <laughs> oh, somebody's going to make yes, it now. You have to make me. it. Do you get yeah. verified? Do you get verified on um, Tinder? Uh, yeah, I think if you like take a photo of yourself. Yeah. Like to prove that it's it's you. I'm totally not going on Tinder, yeah. man. That would be like an absolute... I think we should literally just do it for an episode. I think it'd be awful if those listening set up Tinder profiles with Adam's face. <laughs> do it? You're not going to get any f***ing action. Are you serious? <laughs> I'll just get loads of DMs on Instagram saying, somebody's pretending yeah. to be you on it because they won't think it's me anyway. You'd get loads of action, I reckon. No. Nah. You, you don't speak highly of yourself. I think you'd be all right, mate. I think you'd do pretty well, actually. Yeah, well, I, I appreciate you kind of got to say that because you're my friends and, uh, you know... I suppose you've got to try and make me feel good. I don't really care. But anyway, what are we, are we talking about anything else? I suppose we should talk about um, Jen's vagina. <laughs> Touring Jen. <laughs> yeah, if you want. <laughs> there's, no, no, there's no more news there, though, is there? Not, not as far as I'm aware. I saw Jen's the other vagina. Day, so, yeah. yeah. I, well, I don't know. I don't know if she's got a smear test like. I mean, oh, you can ask her about that. But I, don't, I don't know who's been in there. <laughs> Put it that way. 
<laughs> We've got that bit back out of his, charge. His own sister, man. He's f***ing started. It's nothing to do with me. I don't know, but it's the fact that he says, I don't think anyone knew has been in there. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> All right, well, we're at 40 minutes. Shall we wrap it up with the first pit? One second. Um, <laughs> I, uh, I put a video on yesterday of the new studios because we, um, we had the windows tinted. <laughs> I can't I, tell on that video, though. But they were doing it, weren't they? Yeah. My idea is that we can use, like, almost like an ND filter, you know? So we can utilise the Which means almost like, exactly, exactly like, like an ND, ND filter. filter. <laughs> we can use it. <laughs> we can, can use can the outside view with him as, well? as part of our set. Yeah. Oh. In, lad, if I do three minutes with Josh, somebody, I don't know who it is, is coming out dead. How Probably many times me, do you reckon but... you'll actually submit him? In three minutes? In three minutes in a cage. I don't know. I don't know. I, I, I do. I, I, will, I refuse to do it because I, I think like we would get injured. Because like, yeah. I think with Danny, I think what will happen is he'll, he'll, you, you'll try for a bit and then you'll accept that it is what it is. Whereas like you and I, I think you'd get really like competitive. Yeah. And no, I wouldn't. I'm not. I don't know. Uh, if you were boxing or something, yeah, because like you don't, you don't really get an advantage there. I bought you in a reach and weight advantage, but you don't know a skill that I don't no, know. No, true. Well, why don't we do that? We do three minutes boxing, body shots only. Oh, my, yeah, but this guy, I'm going to get a rush of blood to my head and I'm just going to, you're definitely going to punch me in the face. And if anyone breaks his nose, I swear to God. <laughs> what would you do? I've never done boxing. It's like the only part of my body I actually like, I think. I've never done boxing, so we could just do body shots. And look, imagine how bad it would look though. Like both of just pure no technique. We'd never release that footage, man. It'd look awful. Wow, KSI like, over. Hands. You'd have to, yeah, well, there's no, there's no. It'd like you know KSI what? squat, yeah. Yeah, but the thing is, there's no shame in, in doing something like that for a laugh. And knowing that you're bad at it, okay. it's when like the, the, the celebrity matches, they think they're good, they think they're the baddest one on the yeah, planet. Yeah. Like, we're not like that. We're just doing it for a laugh. Like, well, I know, knew a guy who used to do white collar boxing, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. on a weekend, just for charity, <laughs> they'd sell some tickets, like a five red ticket, and just a bunch of people from offices would go in there and just like try and beat on each other. <sighs> Awful lot, isn't it? Yeah, but I mean, it happens. So, so we're doing three minutes of body shots wanna, boxing. You do, before we wrap up, do you want to hear something from it, uh, the Eaton world that's I, quite funny? I'm not sure if I should reveal this, but like uh, I'm going to do it anyway just because I don't <laughs> give a shit. Um, <laughs> just because that's what people tend to tune in for, isn't it? Um, got a, a message actually this morning from uh, Major League Eating. Oh. Yeah. Saying, uh, hi, hi, league members. Uh, just to remind you, it is the league's policy that wagering on Major League Eating events is strictly prohibited. Uh, it then goes on to uh, <laughs> include parts of the contract <laughs> that talk about eating. So I'm assuming somebody has been a naughty boy or girl and been betting on themselves or event, an event in which they uh, took part. Ooh. So uh, I, I would love to know who that is. Uh, I don't, I've got no idea. I don't remember any like England as to who it would be. But... Why don't we, we think to do that? We could have been like, right, Adam, hot dogs this year, do nine. <laughs> <laughs> and I'll go put a, a, a grand on it. The problem is, though, is like, I bet on the the... the the contest before for a laugh yeah. when I wasn't there. Yeah. yeah. Um, but like in England, usually it's just like a novelty market, you know, it's so like sky bet will do it or whatever. And you can bet on like either Joey to win or somebody from the field to win. Yeah. And it's like, Joey's like one to 100. So yeah. he's definitely going to win. So one year I bet, I bet on Jeff, I think, uh, because I thought he had a chance and it was like a hundred to one. So I put like a fiver on. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but you can't bet, can't do like over under or anything like that. Whereas in America, all their books, they, it's like a bigger deal, especially yeah, the hot dog yeah, contest. Yeah. So you could, there's a full market for it, like who's going to eat what and stuff like that. And I remember, like, I always sort of think, I think I've got a screenshot like on one of my old phones where like the first year I did it, I was like 15 to 1 to win it or something like that. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, oh, you're joking, man. <laughs> Nowhere near. But, um, Are you going to do it this year? Do you reckon? It's I don't think so. It's coming in fast, isn't it? I, I, I don't th I think, no, I don't think I'll do it. I mean, I don't know if they're going to invite me, but. What you just said there. Well, coming in fast. <laughs> Mike Haffenden, the Mike Haffenden technique. <laughs> we didn't do Mike Mike's thing. Oh. We kind of got to like, Right, this is... We'll have to save it. Yeah. We're going to do it. No, no, let's do it. Can we do it on Patreon? It's no. still good for Patreon, It's still good for Patreon. This, is, got, this is an intro. This is really quick. Uh, <laughs> right. So... <laughs> <laughs> this is this is a bit much for YouTube, though, this. Well, if at this it, point, we'll cut it out if if, it, if we get the being monetized. <laughs> but George knows what he's doing, though. Maybe we should listen to George. I don't know. There's a clean break there. Just you can cut that. Just do it. Yo. So, uh, I don't know if this is a segment for your podcast or what, but I was uh, listening to a podcast the other day and I thought I would pitch this one to you both, or you three, I guess. But it's uh, the situation, the scenario, George, you can present it, is uh, between Josh and Beard. And uh, basically on the podcast, they were talking about snakes. And, uh, yeah, if they're... 
in the forest, in the rainforest, they can <laughs> go for your tackle, basically. Go for your tackle, and, uh, So you shouldn't walk through, like, a river that's got, like, a load of snakes in it. Because, uh, yeah, they'll go through for your tackle sort of thing. <laughs> Mike needs a coffee. So uh, the question I have, really, is, or the scenario is, so put yourselves in the situation. Josh and Beard, you're walking through the, the, uh, <laughs> the rainforest. And uh, Josh goes up ahead because, you know, he's taller. And, uh, so he goes into the river to see how deep it is, basically, to see if Adam can go through, obviously, might go above his head sort of thing, you know what I mean? So Josh has to go in and check first. Mike's the same height as me. And uh, he gets his tackle bit by a snake. Um, so the question I have is probably mostly for Adam. Uh, if it was a life or death situation, would you suck the poison out of his tackle? Uh, his penis. <laughs> Alright guys, hope uh, that gives you something to talk about on the pod. <laughs> so dead uh, Yeah, I love how dead funny he was. Have you noticed that like uh, Mike is like more more scouts now since he's moved back home? Yeah, he is. So like anything that ends in like a K or like a K sound is yeah. like... <laughs> Whereas it used to be like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, it was not that at all. Anyway, uh, I, I answer. We've I've seen that before. I heard that before. I answered it pretty quickly. I think uh, unexpectedly said, "Yeah, man, I, I, I could. I couldn't. The guy's got like a a, a child. Um, so I I believe I said I could not live with myself if I didn't just get a face full, <laughs> get in there, suck it out, and then you know at least you're gonna. I mean, like it's only a knob. I'm comfortable with my sexuality. No problem with that. Might enjoy it. Never know. Yeah. Never seen your willy? Honourable, that. What it? Yeah, unless you've got, you might, you've got like warts on your willy or something like that. Yeah, I think we're no? good. Pretty yeah. clean. Yeah, I think so. You say you shave it, so like... Yeah, man, what, what am I going to let him die? Is that am I supposed to say... Am I yeah. supposed to say no, though? Like, what's the right answer there, we yeah, saying? I, I, what about if it was me? If it were to be me, what would... Yeah, I'd, I'd, uh, I'd take a shaver, just trim it up a bit. No, it's all right right now. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. You cleaned it up. Of course I would, mate. Yeah, well, would... your mum was around last week, so... <laughs> <laughs> your ma, your ma's in my DMs. Of course I would, mate. Yeah, I'd. I don't you. believe you. <laughs> you did any clip for the start of it? <laughs> I think we're probably all right then, because Mike said tackle a lot of times, but then yeah. he said penis right then. So. I think we, I think we're safe, man. Like this is uh, be all right. it's strictly for like um, it's, re- it's, research purposes. It's, it's hypothetical, isn't it? It's not yeah. real. We're not yeah. sh- we're not displaying. What it. about you, George? Would you um, blow one of us to? Uh, we well, don't blow. It comes so not that far. Uh, you ever thought about that? Why do they call it a blow job when you're not you're doing the opposite of blowing? I don't know. Isn't that like a scene from like Superman? Can we, can we ask that like escort? Well, uh, in between us. That escort, can we ask her? Do you think there might have been people back? that have never done it and never seen it done and they literally <laughs> think you have to blow on it? No, nobody thinks so, George. Come on. <laughs> I wonder why they Google that, George. Why do they call it a blow job? Don't Google that. <laughs> he was just about to Google it. <laughs> it was, this was all getting like, this is all going on Patreon. I can feel it now. Otherwise, it's, the thing's getting demonetized. Not that I care, but uh, you know, you, you and your family will care. Um, oh, he's actually Googling it? Okay. <laughs> oh, blow as in to get to orgasm. That's why. Ah, that makes sense. Ah. Like an eruption. <laughs> yeah, I never thought about it like that. And educational as well is this podcast. Yeah. I think we've now hit, hit the point where we need to finish this and go to Patreon because uh, we we dicing with death on, the, on this side of the this side of the channel. Should we do fest pit? Fest pit. <laughs> uh, oh, I do apologise. How rude of me! I ate quite a lot yesterday. Sorry. <laughs> what did you eat? Just a load of food, man. Nothing interesting. Save it for the Patreon. (laughs) The miss is left for work, and I've done my now traditional pre-WFH wank. What's a pre-WFH wank? Work from home. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, I've only just remembered in the post-nut clarity that we'd been planned that we'd planned a sexy night for after work today. I'm a middle-aged bloke, and I'm not sure my tank will refill in time. Pray for me. What? Like, have you got some medical disorder? Like, <laughs> refractory period's not like <laughs> hours, man. Uh, uh, the t- the tism is strong in you today. <laughs> if you're not refilling in like half an hour, there's something wrong with you, man, even at that age. Refractory period. <laughs> uh, this is this is just the Science. worst podcast. This is, the, this is what we ended this studio on, this podcast. <laughs> Jesus Christ. This is not as bad as the last one. The last one was atrocious. This has been all right. Yeah, this is, I think it's been a good one, this. Any more? Uh, that, that's it. I think I've got one. I've got one on. I found yeah. one earlier. That's the one you sent. Yeah, no, but I found another one. Oh, good. 
<laughs> uh, that oh. one. Uh, regardless of plans, I always tell my Uber driver I'm either going to see my mum or heading home after seeing her. Guaranteed five star ratings for a guy looking after his mum. F telling them that my actual plans. So there's a bit of a. Do you, I only like reasonably recently, maybe like a year ago, discovered that you actually get customer ratings. Yeah, you can check it out. Yeah. Mine was like fucking 3.8 oh, or worry, yeah. <laughs> I don't know why. Um, I don't, yeah, I don't know. I uh, I think my Uber's all right. However, <laughs> turns out there's a rating for Facebook Marketplace, <laughs> which, just took, uh, which just took a beating. Because I haven't even sold anything yet, but I am uh, I'm like 1.2 star. So maybe that's why I'm not selling out now. Presumably out of five. Yeah. I think it might be because of your uh, kind of sarcastic <laughs> comms, mate. DFS. <laughs> yeah, so I don't think that's helped my uh, position of trying to get rid of things. I think, to be first of all, it's quite a reasonable question because unless you put it in the thing that you're not prepared to deliver, people might think that you're prepared to deliver. Surely you'd put in if you're prepared to deliver and not the other way around. No, nah, but people are dumb, aren't they? You should probably have r- r- kind of preempted that. Well, needless to say, mate, I have sold absolutely nothing in the uh, time period. I told you, we need to do what Danny did. I'll, oh, I'll, sign I'll, I'll sign that in one of those, like, uh, or maybe, oh, I won't sign it, like, kind of ruin it, but, like, uh, sign it, say, you know, have it. No? I don't well, know. We'll, we'll have you straddle it, like, um, off Titanic, you know, where he draws the picture. <laughs> <laughs> we'll have you straddle it. Get that dude that did the, uh, the spray paint mural of me to come in. And, <laughs> come on. I don't know if you can draw as well. Yeah. If, you, I just, if like, you actually took product photos of it and had him just sit on that set, <laughs> I bet it would sell way easier. Naked. And we're like, we'll no, just picture, just no let's you. do it naked and pixel my knobs just for, for funnies. <laughs> <laughs> right, we'll redo it. I'll retake the pictures of him sat on it and see if they sell. That'll be a topic for next podcast because I've got a week to get rid of them. So let's, let's uh, that'll just, be the last resort then. Yeah. Not, but, not the naked one. We'll put you, if, if you can do like a, a pose for each picture. Old tape measure. <laughs> like, like a YouTube thumbnail. Looking face. really happy. <laughs> Doing the tape measure. Tape measure on your dick. Right, let's get over to, get over to Patreon. Right. right, if you want to carry this uh, nonsense on, we'll go to Patreon. For those that are spot, cheers. See you next week. New studio. Yeah, good luck. Good <laughs> luck.